Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if we can get your attention to the front of the stage. All right. I'm going to turn it over to your student council cl class president. Student council, though, right? Here we go. I'm also from Assembly Committee Student Council. Um, there are a few steps we had to take to bring this awesome act to um, to Ryan Intermediate. We had to write a letter to the PTO asking for money, and we had to choose one of the many uh, one of the many great acts we had there. So here's Grace. We chose this assembly because it works with Team Ryan expectations, and we don't want bullying to happen in our school. So we want to make sure we know how to stop it. Please help me welcome Sean Mitchell. Thank you very much. How about a big round of applause for your student council? They went out of their way to bring this to you guys and for your PTO who helped bring this here. Excellent job, guys. Thank you very the much. The first thing we need to know is we need to know what bullying is. And I'm sure I could, I could talk to you guys and you guys would have some really good answers as to what bullying is. Things like hitting people, tripping people, saying mean things. These are all really good examples of the things that bullies do. But for our show today, we need to have one set definition of bullying. So I need everybody to have their ears open and their brains turned on and working because we're going to give you one definition of bullying that we're going to use for our game show. And our definition of bullying for today is bullying is when a person or a group of people hurts or intimidates somebody and that person cannot defend themselves. So when a person or a group of people hurts or intimidates someone and that person cannot defend themselves. Does everybody understand what we're talking about when I talk about bullying? All right, very good. This is going to be my underdog team. You guys are going to be the blue team. Can I get a big blue team cheer? Not bad, not bad for being half the size. Now I'm going to take the bigger team over here. You guys are going to be my yellow team. Can I get a big yellow team cheer? You guys are pretty low. I'm going to need some volunteers. Hands go up in the air. Hands go up in the air. But you guys don't know what you're volunteering for yet, do you? Uh-oh. Some hands might have popped down here. Let's see. Who still wants to be a volunteer? We are taking away your name. And for this section of the show, you are no longer going to be known as Zoe. You are going to be known as Marvin the Muscles. The strongest kid in school. Let's see. Who still wants to be a volunteer? Really? Really? Come on up! Come on up! What's your name, sir? Oh, very nice to meet you. My name is Sean. So, Cole, I need you to do the exact same as Marvin the Muscle, so I'll both arms straight out in front of you. Very good. And of course, no cheerleader would be complete. Looking good. Now, Cole, we're going to take away your name. Because it's not fair that we take away Zoe's name and not take away yours. So we're going to take away your name. And for this section of the show, you are going to be known as Miss Polly Percy Perfect. The most popular girl in school. The one that everybody wants to be like. Right. And what's your name? Dakota, very nice to meet you. My name is Sean. Dakota, I'm going to ask you to hold on to this, and I'm taking away your name. I am changing your name to Tommy Technology. He knows all about computers. Alexis, very nice to meet you. My name is Sean. So, Alexis... We're going to take away your name, and we are going to rename you Brian the Brainiac, the smartest kid in school. I'm going to hold my hand over each person's head. When I get to the one that you believe is the bully, I want you to cheer loud and proud for me. So, yellow team, 
Is Brian the Brainiac the bully? Okay. How about Mr. Tommy Technology? Could it be Miss Polly Prisley Perfect? Polly, what did you do to them? Or is it Marvin the Muscles? They think you're a bully. Then my question for you guys, I have four people who are all completely different from one another. They are completely different. I have the strongest kid, the most popular kid, the kid who knows all about computers, the smartest kid in school. How can I have four people who are completely different from one another? How can they all be bullies? You, sir, had a perfect answer. Thank you very much. I'm not sure if you guys could all hear him. He said, it doesn't matter what they look like. It doesn't matter who they are. He said it matters how they're treating other people. So it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter if you're the strongest kid, the smartest kid, the most popular kid, the kid who knows all about computers. It's how you treat others, your behavior towards your classmates. That's what decides whether or not you're a bully. So here we go. With round number two, we are talking about the behaviors that make a bully. Because remember, it doesn't matter who you are, it's what you do, the decisions you make on a day-to-day -day basis. So, are you guys both ready? Let's try this. One, two, three! Blue team! Blue team, what is our first bullying behavior? He says, push or hit you. What do we think, blue team? Do you agree with your teammate? Do you think that's something a bully would do? I think you're absolutely right. Blue team, pushing or hitting is my number one bullying behavior. You get a point up on the board. Big cheer, blue team. Now, we think about team. The thing you guys have been concentrating on, treating others with respect, excellent attitude, acting responsibly, and making safe choices. Wouldn't you know it, if, we, if we're pushing or hitting, are we treating others with respect? Absolutely not. Are we acting responsibly? Absolutely not. And most importantly, are we making a safe choice? Absolutely not. Pushing or hitting is 100% unacceptable. There is never a good reason for us to lay hands on one another. We should always be able to solve any problem that comes up here at school or at home by using our words. So yellow team, what do you think our next bullying behavior might be? Teasing you. Teasing you. Guys, does that sound like something a bully might do? You know what? You guys are absolutely right. Teasing you. Yellow team gets another point up on the board. Great job, yellow team. Now teasing you. Is that treating other people with kindness and respect? No. Is that showing an excellent attitude? Absolutely not. Is it acting responsibly? Decision. Maybe not necessarily a safe decision, but is it making a good choice? Yeah. Absolutely not. 